Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to introduce you to the header files and so make our own header file and how to separate our program. Ok, first of all, uh, let's create uh, a few empty files. You can use right click and make new or something called that and call whatever cpp you do you like and age okay but for now i will use the terminal because it's an amazing thing all right uh, first i navigate the correct uh, place uh, in this case into my desktop then uh, create a file so for example uh, thing.cpp simple enough, create another file, this will be something called header file and we will include that, so touch and thing dot h simple enough then we just open them, so mm, so yeah, we'll gedit the cpp alright, and uh, and where is my terminal and the header files ok, simple enough, we just created two new files we could do with this uh, thing here uh, menu item, menu icon, I don't know how it's called, never mind and here our normal uh, first.cpp file, this will be our main cpp file alright then, mm, let's create a class in the thing so as you may remember from an earlier tutorial uh, about macros I tell you how to prevent the multiple impl uh, include so yeah we will use that today alright if not defined uh, thing thing H, uh, you should replace the point with the uh, uh, line, so uh, vertical down line. I don't know what it's called. Never mind. And uh, you should uh, uh, you should call this uh, the same name as the name of the file. So in this case, thing dot H, uh, except that you replace the H. By the way, you could call anything. Do you want? you could deflector or I don't know what do you want to call but this is the normal way and usually when you declare a macro you should use capital letters this is just a habit and make you easier to other programmers to read your program because they will know that uh, every time you write capital letters this means that uh, it's, it's a macro alright and if not defined then define it so thing h alright simple enough and here where our code uh, comes our code not out our alright and the end of it we use the end if you can see it's all call, uh, start with a hash mark as I said earlier this is mean it's a macro it's it's for the uh, preprocessor actually not for the compiler, it's a prep processor which actually a part of the whole compile uh, actually I didn't uh, talk you much about the processing of compile but uh, first of all uh, the preprocessor will run and search everything that it is it's for it so for example anything with hash mark macros like this include is a macro and such if not defined so this is the preprocessor directive actually this is what it called okay uh, yeah this is for the preprocessor then the actual compile comes then all of the source files so this thing.cpp and first.cpp will compile and then in the final step the linking comes which will link this and this file into a, comp into a file uh, plus use the iostream header file and include these three things into one program simple enough alright uh, yeah uh, make a class uh, something like uh, you we did with uh, those uh, 
uh, something thing class so class thing and don't forget the semicolon and it has a double mm, something uh, member and we made a few member functions like uh, public okay and uh, we just make one constructor for now because it's not really matter I just uh, uh, talk about the header files right now not the actual classes you should all know already uh, this so uh, what the name thing with a with a double parameter all right and make a destructor to just make something okay thing and uh, make a member function like uh, actually two member functions like double get a uh, thing all right and uh, void set thing and uh, this will be a wait for a double parameter simple enough you should already know all of this all right now that's for the header file this was pretty simple pretty straightforward actually that's just the definition of the class I always always call declaration but it's never really mine so yeah uh, we just uh, uh, write it what member functions and what members do we need and pretty much that's it all right and then we will come to actually implement these functions so yeah what which we do after the class in uh, normally we will y use the cpp file for that all right usually the header and the cpp file has the same name uh, yeah usually have the same name and that's good all right first thing is to include the header file we will use the include for that so include but we will not use greater than and less than sign also called angular brackets we will use double quotation mark we, if we use uh, these angular brackets it means that it should search in in the normal uh, uh, includes libraries so where the com compiler uh, stores the include library and if we use quotation mark we can uh, add where does it search for example search home media or oh home actually call it media or inside something uh, search for a header file something like that so yeah in case of uh, angular brackets uh, you can you shouldn't give as uh, the all right and now we just think uh, dot h simple enough so we just include this header file okay if the ha header file is already defined because it could happen then we just simple not do anything if it is defined if it is not defined we just define it and later we will not define it simple enough all right and then just implement these functions like uh, thing thing double d okay and just make the something to double something equal d all right all right i think that's what it's called yes and uh, make a destructor so yeah don't copy it all right and it's a destructor and just write out something to know that it, this is destructed we uh, haven't used the std colon colon so we have to put std colon colon oh by the way uh, we have to include the io stream right here too so include io stream as the compiler will not know what count is all right and just write out something destroyed simple enough and make a new line okay then uh, implement uh, uh, other functions double get things so double return type and get thing 
All right, and we just very simply return with something. All right, then uh, implement the setting. So, oh, oh, I almost screw up again. So it is inside thing. Uh, don't forget it. Else you will define a new function, and and this will be. Um, this means that you want to define the guessing function from the thing class, uh, actually. So, yeah, almost threw up again. So, void thing set thing and dub double d. Alright, and just make uh, it uh, something equal d. And you know what? Make a print function just to we can print out. So void print simple enough and save it and implement that function to void thing print and just write out the something is and the just write out the something and make a new line. Alright, uh, actually that's it. We implemented the functions and now we will actually include it right here. So we include the thing header file. Alright, we use the double quotation mark again because you know this is a relative path, these are the same uh, folder, same place. Okay, and actually make a new thing. So, thing t1 and make it with 5.5. Alright, call some function like t1.print, uh, t1.set thing 7.0, and uh, double d equal uh, t1 dot get thing then just simply call uh, some function to test it I think we called uh, a, uh, most of them yeah I think we called all of them okay the destructor and the constructor is automatic and we use that three so set thing get thing and print <laughs> all right and just write out the d2 so d and make a new line. Alright then, you know what, delete this and make std colon colon code and std colon colon handle because we are not using just the standard library yet, so yeah, uh, we use the thing and uh, we will use a lot of this. Okay, first of all, test that if it compile. I don't think so because I always grew up in tutorials, but maybe all right to make it work you have to a little bit change the normal compile you have to put all of the input files so in this case we use the uh, what is it called first dot cpp like that and you have to use the thing dot cpp obviously and now make just the output file to uh, separate from the a dot out always so uh, yeah uh, sing out okay and uh, yeah oh oh frack it I think std colon colon I forget somewhere in as you can see now uh, we have more files so we can we have to watch this first the uh, so what is it first uh, write out? In this case it is fr uh, thing.cpp, that is the file where the error is, and then the lines. So we don't uh, search error in the first.cpp, we search error from the thing.cpp actually at line 11. And as you can see I forget the std colon colon because we don't use L S namespace std so we don't write out yeah oh finally it's uh, uh, compiled and now just try to run okay the same thing is 5.5 and then after we change it to 7 it gets 7 and then it destroyed simple enough 